This is the 2017 R Pod 171. This is the Hood River Edition. We've had it for, I don't know, two or three years. I used to pull it with this 99 Forerunner here, and that was a little bit underpowered, but it did pull it. So, this is the one that does not have the slide out. So I got the no slide out because it weighed 800 pounds less. But I'm kind of wishing that I did get the slide out. So we upgraded to a 90 or a 2003 Forerunner with a V8 in it, and that thing pulls it great. So yeah, it's been a fantastic R Pod. Uh, we really like it. It's just a little small without the slide out. So what I went and I went and got the. R dome that fits into this track up here and it will slide in and then it slides all the way across and it has uh, tent poles that mount out in front of it so it's like adding a 16 by 10 foot room to the front of your R pod so some of the additions that I've done we have an extra battery box installed which was pretty simple just wired them together, bought an extra battery box. I keep it plugged in all the year round and it still has the original battery, deep cycle battery that we had in it when we bought it. And the other one is an interstate that I have had since 2013. And if you keep them plugged in and charged, you really don't have problems with them. I feel that the reason people replace right deep cycle batteries so often is because they end up having them go dead and freeze in the winter time in harsh climates like Utah. But since it lived in Oregon for almost four years, the batteries last a little bit longer up there. Anyways, 